What's up, guys? Today, front suspension. So first things first, I'll start off building my lower and upper control arms, but check this out. You can see here, I've got a five and a half degree caster angle, and then from the side, that is about 12 and a half degree kingpin inclination. Now, if that doesn't make sense to you or you're brand new to this, I'll explain it in the second video and why. Man, I hate using this thing. My thumb doesn't work, doesn't bend right there, so I have to hold everything all weird and I get such cramps. Get yourself a tube notcher if you can, a belt sander. Don't work like this. Okay, all the tabs are grinded down and uh, chamfered, so I'm gonna put it all together, take it over the chassis, and I can start mounting this stuff. There it is. It checks out to about uh, a little less than half a degree difference, which is fine by me right now. now I'm gonna go ahead, put it back in a jig, and weld it up. Got it propped up so I can put my A arms here at the very lowest point of travel and then mount my shocks from there.
All right, finally there she is, sitting on all four of her own wheels. I'm going to show it from a couple different angles and then uh, show you the travel to the front. So there's a ride height comparison right there with a water bottle that's without any weight in it. There's no engine, there's no rider. Check this out, it's super light. All right guys, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was kind of messy. It took me like four days to do all this and film at the same time, so it's really hard to do. But I learned a ton from this, uh, from this buggy build and from this front suspension. And the most important thing that I learned was to build the chassis around the suspension that you want, right? So I built my chassis for this certain look and then I made the suspension fit that chassis. That's not the way to do it. It's totally backwards. So right now everything's a little bit off. So it'll handle pretty well, but not flawless. And the next one will be absolutely flawless. And then I have a lot of heim joints in this thing because I knew that it would be, you know, it'd be a little tricky, right? So I needed to be able to adjust everything uh, to make it work properly. And I've got like probably $700 worth of heim joints and grade 8 bolts in here and I, I want to get that down a lot. So if you're looking for more information though about the geometry, uh, what to look for when you're setting up your front suspension, come back for the 8.5 video, Suspension Explained. That'll, that's what I'm going to do in that whole video. And then um, if you like the video, as usual, hit all the buttons, let me know you liked it, and just keep coming back. Thanks guys.